first of many. Right, first of many, first of many, you know what I'm saying? Shout out all the people watching, the viewers and all that, you know what I'm saying? We're going to turn it up, man. Even even if it's a little bit, if it's a lot of y'all, we still in here, you know? We're gonna make hey, it man. Good, though. If you if you if you with us now, keep rocking with us, yo. It's only gonna get better from here. Right. It's only gonna go up. So, yeah, I mean, we're gonna we gonna jump right in. First topic of the day was um some battle rap. We we're gonna do a couple topics inside of battle rap. Um first somebody had asked me, I, I put a little post up. Asking the fans like what what they want what they wanted to talk about, and somebody has said, "What's the difference between battle rap now and how battle rap was back then?" I want to say back then, like grind time day when it first started, when everybody got hip to it. So you know what I'm saying we could both delve in. You know what I'm saying, Walt. You got any thoughts on the topic? I'll let you go first. Um. Well, I mean, I'm a little bit younger than. Most of the folks I know in battle rap, but I've been fucking with this shit since I was like 15 years old. Right. And one difference that I could say that I've that I've seen from then till now, I would say like it's like a template now, like to rap. Like back then, like you could pretty much rap how you want. You could rap about what you want, and right. people would allow the the four bar and the six bar setup. So they would allow storytelling and shit like that. Like now they want everybody to be quick to the punch. So I would say the attention span of the average listener is definitely not the same as it was when I first got into this shit. Cause you, you have niggas like, like ill and verb that wasn't necessarily punching every bar, but they was rapping really, really well. And right. they was building up to something. Nowadays, people won't even allow that. Even if you are rhyming really good and rapping really well, they won't allow you to get to that build up. They want you to punch every line. So that's one difference I can say I've seen. Right. Uh, I can say, for me personally, I can say, the, uh, like you said, the attention span of the crowd, they all want the same thing. They want that instant gratification. Um, I also would say back then, like crowd reaction, like back, back then there wasn't a whole lot of crowd reaction. Like, like I said, like come get off, pause, certain niggas could come and there would just be no crowd at the very most you hear mm, or a hard look. Niggas might go crazy for like a couple, 10 seconds and then it's back to rapping. Like, now it's like the crowd wants to be a part of the fucking show. So now what you got niggas jumping from the boom, pushing niggas out the, you know what I'm saying? You got niggas that the crowd just wants to be involved with the shit. So that's one thing. I would say now it's like everybody's like an A&R now. Everybody talk numbers. It's the same thing that happened to hip-hop. Agreed. Everybody talk numbers. But the thing with battle rap for me, it's like battle rap's supposed to be a fight. So the numbers should never matter. If we if we're putting two artists together, how many views a nigga got shouldn't really matter. Mm -hmm. Agree. And another thing that I would say that I've seen too from a fan's perspective, it's a lot more fan involvement now too. Like versus when I first started going to events, like battlers kind of had. Well, this was before you. I mean, well, it was still social media. I mean, you had like MySpace and shit like that, but. Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and all that shit wasn't lit at that time. So rappers had a little bit more mystique. Like you actually had to like go to the event and speak to this person in person to actually know about them or just listen to their raps to get a feel for their character. Now if you ask your favorite rapper on Twitter four or five times, they will respond to you and probably just block you or some shit. So it's a lot more direct than it was when I first got into it. Like you could like me, I speak to I probably speak to some of my favorite people in battle rap Thank every you. day. Versus at that time it was really <laughs> Thank you so much. No fan involvement honestly. It was fan involvement but not to this extent. Like you can basically 
just go on a Facebook group and talk to your favorite battle rapper and <laughs> and shit like that. So it kind of, I guess it kind of take away the excitement a little bit from a fan's perspective when you talk to these people all the time. Mm-hmm. I mean, a point. That's a fact. Like at the end of the day, when I was even like I just got into it four years ago, whatever, but. There was this kind of separation between battler and fan. It was more of a divide there. And I think now with the Facebook group, you got everybody got a group. And I think with the Twitter and all the IGs and all that shit, like at a certain point, it causes fans to take niggas for granted. Because you see niggas every like you, you talk to niggas every day or you seeing a nigga post every day and it's like it becomes like one of your homeboys almost like it's almost like 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 somebody like a metaphor people he was like if Jesus was your homeboy would you believe him when he said he was gonna do all the shit he said he was gonna do because he's right there you see what I'm saying like that's your man like that's your brother you like nah man you get out of here man. Even if you think he could do it, you're gonna be like, nah, because you see him all the time. So, those niggas, and then it also allows, and it's not even to say it on no fucked up shit, but it allows certain niggas that to have a platform just because they say shit to us crazy, like they'll talk to a battler crazy, and then niggas would be jacking that, and then all of a sudden, oh shit. And you know what I mean? And then he'll have a poll based off that, you know what I'm saying? Which is not really a shit kind of whack, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it it definitely ruins it. <clears throat> Pardon me, guys. I'm a little bit under the weather, but I mean, it kind of ruins it in a sense where, like, like, people that's been, like, legit fans and supporters, and then you got these people that just troll all day or Telling or tweeting their favorite rapper, telling them, yo, suck my dick a hundred times on Twitter. And this nigga live all the way in fucking Canada somewhere because battle rap is definitely like international. Motherfucker live in Canada right. somewhere that's never gonna come to an event or you're never gonna see them in person. And they just talk shit all day. And now they, and you know, they put all fans in one box like, oh, the, oh fans are horrible and fans are this and fans are that. And yes, your talent got you where you are, but without the fans, you wouldn't have necessarily been able to showcase that talent. So a lot of fans do ruin it for people that actually are for the culture, but nah, I mean... I respect that. Yeah. I respect that, like you said. Like, like when... See, when fans say that to me, it goes... It's the hand in hand thing, bro, for me, like, so now, it's to the point where, like, without the fans, yes, battlers wouldn't be certain places, but some of you, some fans gotta recognize that without battle rap, like, you wouldn't have met all the motherfuckers you know. Agreed. And I could definitely not letting you off, bro. You wouldn't have gotten that box. It goes hand in hand, so I think, like, I think that sometimes the fans get too crazy with it. And, yes, they have the ultimate power, but at the end of the day, I've, certain, I've never seen a event league owner be like, yo, I'm not going to book such and such because this group's not fucking with them. You know what I'm saying? That shit don't happen. Like, they book who they want to book, whether you like it or not. You know what I'm saying? Or however exactly. the situation go. Like, because according to the people, DNA should never be on no more cards ever. But he's always on the card. And he's always getting views. And he's always getting views. So, because he do what he's supposed to do. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I think that changed battle rap. I think. I think. I think the general respect for it is gone, like, the template now, like, it's it's become so cookie-cutter, anybody could do it, so it's just like, 
Man, like it's man. like it's rappers that I met that said, "Yo, I never made a song before in my life, or I never rap, or I never rapped in a cipher before in my life." Battle rap was my first time rapping, so like a lot of battle rappers aren't really rappers. They was just mm-hmm. fans of this shit. They taught themselves how to rap, and I mean, it is a performing art. So, oh yes, yeah, it definitely don't get it fucked up, like. Battle rap and do both, and who's done both on, on? You know what I mean? Um, it's a different beast than just rhyming, or spitting bars over beats. But the fact that niggas, I come from the era where niggas had to be able to do everything. Like battling was just a part of being an MC. Like you couldn't say you was nice unless you smoked three, four niggas. Whatever the case. Um. But um, like for me, as far as battling goes, you couldn't you couldn't say you was ill unless you smoked three four niggas. And the fact that niggas can't make songs to me is amazing. Like that shit, kid, I, that shit is a shocker to me. Like what? Cause how battling goes, like for me, I always seen it like <coughs> you battle. You get fans from doing that, and then you make songs, and then you keep your fan. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I. That's how it went. But that's how it was back in the day, though. That's mm-hmm. niggas to sure. battle, but no, the rap to get in the studio to rap. You know what I'm saying? So that type of shit, like, makes me like, I just be like, what? So you're right. It's a template. So like, even. I've seen dead ass fans, bro. Was dead ass fans, like just fans, nigga. And all of a sudden, they got a battle now, and that's no knocking to them. No, that's matter of fact, yo, when I first met this nigga E for real, shout out E for real, cause bro is a beast. But when I first met bro, yo it was like a regular fan, nigga. And like, I mean, even though like E for real is nice as shit, but like. He was a regular fan, nigga, when I first met him. And then I hopped on the iBat. I think it was iBattle page one day and seen this nigga had a battle up. Like, yeah, and it's and like, even all of us, we always fans, bro. Like, keeping a 100. Like, of course, I'm going to say I'm a fan of this shit. But I was, like, I always had rapped <coughs> from the beginning. So, like you said, there are niggas. Like, Hollow was the only nigga we knew back then that didn't care to rap to beats. And even then, he still had songs back then. Yeah. Hollow had joints. Like, so he was the only battler that was like, yo, he don't really like rhyme like that to beats, but he'll fuck you up in the ring. You know what I'm saying? So I think that has changed. I think more eyes on it does good, but it also does bad because it's like, what do we do with it now? Like, are we ready for that? I'm, I don't. I'll be ready for the big companies to swoop in and try to take this shit because that's what they gonna do. And I will say another thing too, like, oh, I, I mean, at the end of the day, we all regular people, but y'all don't think niggas understand. Like, I mean, I mean, of course, we all men and adults, so we gonna handle shit as it come. But I don't think how people how dangerous people understand it is to be, to be quote to have all these millions of views and then gotta go right back to a fucked up ass neighborhood, like cause all ain't right. none of us. So it, niggas getting all these all this attention and all these views and niggas start hating and start doing dumb shit. I mean, luck, luckily I don't think it's gotten there yet for anybody that I know. But I mean that's the reality of a situation, especially coming from like right. Baltimore and shit. That like niggas no, gotta right. go right even back to the hood. For... Right, even for me, even niggas don't understand that. Like battle rappers, niggas could do a battle right now, ten min- get three million views. He's not going back to no mansion with the security guard and shit. He's going right back to his hood, wherever the fuck he live at. Going right back to the People don't get that, like, because people look at, people might look at me, XL, as, oh, shit, I'm XL, but for me, this is regular shit. 
You see what I'm saying? So, so I don't carry myself with that like that. But like you said, people don't understand that. People don't it's a lot of things that people don't get behind the scenes that go on. Shit, but as far as what changed in battle rap, like people say it used to be more pure. I think I like it's too I like it's too many leagues, but I like the variety of spitters though. I like the variety. Many. I was always a fan of it. That's why I like Grind Time. That was my favorite league because they have variety. Like yeah, I used to I used to love street niggas battle coming up in battle rap. Yeah. Oh. And oh, and I will say, Grind Time had way better groupies than mm-hmm. the now group. <laughs> Grind Time groupies was was that. Grind Time, Grind Time had. I mean, I love Grind Time because at the end of the day, Grind Time was on Grind Time. You either <coughs> like you could watch two street niggas spit, or you could watch Soul Con versus Carter D. You know what I'm saying. And it, it's all right there. So and on grind time, even if it was two street niggas spitting, you still had to know how to rap. Cause if yeah, you niggas was rhyming, B. Like you had like you had to know how to rap. Cause grind time yeah, wasn't a, fucking with all that niggas ain't the, yeah. the fat, the aggressive right. poet shit. Like you actually had to know how to rap. Yeah, that aggressive poetry shit. Y'all niggas gotta cut that out, man. Punching every, like, don't get it fucked up. Punching is cool. There's niggas that do that. The world, the abs, the conceited. Do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's other bars. There's other forms of bars other than a punch. Y'all niggas think that's the only bar that, nah, man. There's, there's and that's more. why everybody complaining. That's why everybody complaining about such and such stole this or such and such stole that because everybody doing the same shit. So everybody reaching in the bag for the same thing. It ain't but it ain't but so many words in the English language, bro. Every punch you gonna hear, it's not a new under the sun, my nigga. Everything you hear is not gonna be original, bro. Especially if everybody doing the same shit. And that's a fact. Like, and it's just so you touched on something I never even thought about because at the end of the day. Everybody's trying to punch because punching. Every the crowd wants punches. The crowd go crazy for punches. So everybody's trying to replicate. Cool. Now there's only so many ways you can make a fucking punch. There's only so many ways you can reference something. There's only so many references in the world. Like especially for right for niggas. But niggas, so you gotta let you hear you hear a lot of niggas, cause niggas play to their crowd, so they oh, think like they think niggas is gonna yo niggas is gonna like this and that. Like I tell people, like I just brought up a topic the other, <clears throat> like I just said something other, earlier. Like you can't blame a battler for being gassed. He doesn't know what the fuck writes his shit as a battler. Like people blame. Like let's say Tay Rock, I don't fuck with Tay Rock. He's gassed. That's he's ga- He's not gassing himself. That's not his fault. You understand what I'm saying? So I think that you know what I'm saying. Like as far as knowing how to rhyme, niggas got to know how to rhyme. There's very, there's not very few. I'm not gonna say that. There's niggas that know how to rhyme. A lot of the, you can tell now. You can see the divide against niggas who can really rap for real. And the niggas who copy the template. You know what I'm saying? Agree, agree. And like you said about about rock, shout out to rock too, Baltimore nigga. Uh, shout out to rock. But like I'll tell you rock, my nigga. Niggas niggas will say that, yo, such and such can't rap or such and such can't do this. And I feel that. But every time we say a nigga can't rap. Or and the fans would be jacking that such and such can't rap or such and such don't got buzz. But if you scroll down a group right now, the niggas that they say can't rap is gonna be the most quoted niggas in the groups. Or the most quoted niggas on the Twitter feeds and shit. So oh. I'm confused at what niggas want. Do niggas want niggas to know how to rap? Do they want niggas that I, I don't know? Because Every- I see that don't rap get that don't know how to rap 
be the most. Say the niggas they say don't rap. There's a million. There's a million ways to. There's infinite ways to rap. This is what people don't understand. Like we're all not supposed to sound the same. Exactly. Sugar is not supposed to sound like me. I'm not supposed to sound like Rock. Rock's not supposed to sound like Arsenal. That's just how it goes. Appreciate niggas for what they do. I'm learned that. I used to have, uh, hate on Arsenal. Then I just started appreciating him for his Arsenal shit. Like, okay. He's being <clears throat> disrespectful. He's in his Arsenal bag. That's what he does. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you enjoy, so I don't know, man. Cool. You enjoy the battle more when you're... Instead of critiquing everything, you just appreciate a nigga for what he do. Like, okay. All right. You know what I'm saying? And you call it fair down. Some shit hits, some shit don't. But yeah, um... Yeah, man, battle rap is definitely different. So we are gonna next joint. Um, still in battle rap though. The battle we are gonna talk cause that this been a big deal, and like over the past <coughs> couple weeks, a lot of Facebook posting about it. A lot of niggas took going back and forth about this shit. A lot of niggas in my inbox asking me about it, even though I ain't got shit to do with it. <laughs> um, fact. Um, the battle rap contract situation. Now, I love this topic. I will say, I probably was the first nigga to ever break any type of contract situation. I got my contract from the URL. Shout out URL. Love y'all niggas. <laughs> no, no disrespect, no beef. But it is what it is. This is just in the history books. But the bullpen contract or a <clears throat> screenshot of a contract or whatever the fuck got out. But I'm John, um, I know John, John, just from being my nigga like that. Like, I know his brother, I know his mom, I know his family. He's not doing it like niggas say he's doing it. You understand what I'm saying? I don't, as far as me, uh, battle contracts as a whole, no battle should sign with no league unless it's guaranteed that that league is going to put their everything behind them. Like, don't sign if you're going to get shelved. Don't sign if you if you're gonna get if you can't do nothing you still gotta get out here and work because at the end of the day great niggas you gotta follow that model almost like them niggas ain't signed no contracts and be stuck with one league see what I'm saying word word I, my my take on that I actually got two I have two opinions on that one first off everything we do in life has a contract. Whether you're signing it or not, <laughs> regardless, even if you don't think it's a contract, it's a contract. Everything we do in life has a contract. Our cell phone, contract. Buying, even buying a fucking TV from Walmart. When you sign that receipt, when you swipe your card, you're technically signing a contract. Right. So everything, everything is a fucking contract. So... I'm not mad at a nigga saying, look, I'm about to expose you to over 100,000 people or you're about to be you're about to be seen by hundreds of thousands of viewers and you wouldn't have gotten those viewers if it wasn't for me. So I don't want right. to build you up, make you a household name, make you a fan favorite and then you leave. I, I don't so I can understand that right. point. And I can also understand it from the point of view of, yo, I'm a rapper. I want to go rap. I'm not being locked down to you, so yeah, I'm a bounce. But also, if you put your name on a contract and you read it, you can't bitch about it later. Like you, you signed it. Nah, like you signed it, you can't bitch. I mean, you I, signed that's it. Personally, personally, why I fucked up, so I know what it is. You can't. My thing is this. It's like you said, how I feel is this. Me having a battle league with our battle, shout out our battle, Lex Luthor, calling Maddie J, everybody at our battle, Maddie J, everybody. 
um, fucking, you go get a battle on your own. Cool. I don't want no chicken from that. But if you get a battle through me and I get you a look that you wouldn't have got without me, yeah, I need a little. I need. I, I don't see nothing wrong with a nigga taking some bread from that because that's what managers do. That's a manager. That's a booking agent. Battle home league. I'm. If I have to be a booking agent too, I'm gonna take a fee because that's tedious work. It's not just a conversation. Yo, I gotta. Yo, let me call this nigga. Like people think it's easy. That shit's tedious to get niggas on cards or to get yourself booked. It's not an easy task. You know what I'm saying it's very few. Great. Niggas that could put this go on Facebook or go on Twitter and be like, yo, my bookings is open and they shit fill up. Not a lot of niggas can do that. So to get niggas, and especially on the big leagues, because the big leagues don't necessarily care about <coughs> a nigga work resume, a nigga how many battles or how much work a nigga put in. They care about if you hot or you got to have a dope cosign. Cosign, I don't see nothing wrong with John John. Or anybody, for that matter, taking a little bread. That's just life, man. And when a nigga sell you a house, he gets a cut of that crib he sold you. Like, it's just life. And I will say, man, just because I I used to help run a league in Baltimore when a couple of years ago. Bad rappers are selfish, yo. Them niggas think they the only ones that's supposed to make money, bro. Like. Right. Dead ass battle rappers are selfish, my nigga. Like, it'll be right. times I watched, shout out to Shaka from Baltimore, Shaka Pitts. I watch this nigga sometimes leave in the red, meaning he spent more money on the, meaning he lost money giving niggas a platform. And right. niggas would complain about shit. Like, right. niggas complaining about how long it takes for a battle to come out or how long this or that happened. Or complain about X, Y, and Z. Like, yo, this man, this man is, he's not making substantial income from this shit. He's doing it to, one, to give you niggas a platform, and two, because this is what this man loves to do. And niggas is selfish, bro. They, they think they're the only yeah, ones that's supposed to eat off this shit. If you eat, why can't the league owner, or why can't the manager, or why can't the, the nigga that went and got you that look eat too? And especially if you wouldn't have got that look on your own, like you wouldn't got that on your own. Well, so why can't both parties eat? That's what I'm saying. What niggas don't understand about the league ownership is that, especially small leagues, a lot of them niggas don't make bread off events of at all. They don't make bread when they throw events. Like they might break at the very, if it's a good event, they break even. Like so, at the end of the day. Even the big leagues, niggas ain't making all that money back that they spent on certain niggas. I understand from a balance perspective, okay, you're worth this, you're worth that. Niggas gonna make money on the back end of views. But at the end of the day, I tell niggas all the time, if you're not doing hundreds of thousands of views or a million views, you're really not making that league no money. Like, as far as niggas always say niggas get paid in views, that's not always true. They might get paid and views accumulated. Like if niggas pay two hundred. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas they just niggas just think that battle dropping. Oh, he's about to get a YouTube check off of my battle. Bruh, he ain't getting shit off your seven hundred view battle. Shut the fuck up. Like niggas be blown minds. Like, bro, like both parties should be able to eat. Off of it, so I see when I see no problem with John John or any other league wanting to protect themselves and protect their brand. My nigga, I, if I went and got you this look, looks that you wouldn't have gotten on your own, looks that you haven't gotten on your own because you've been in this shit for years, probably just as long as I I have, and you ain't got them looks on your own yet, and I get you them looks. Hey, right, my nigga, yeah, I get something off of it too, John John. Yeah, fact. And as far as John John, John John is a branding ass nigga, B. Like, look at what he did with bullpen in a year. Look what he did with certain niggas that we ne- never heard of 
in the year, like, like them especially niggas, if I, I got you right like, in front of who right. I got you rapping in front of. I got you rapping in front of Julio Jones, Shaq, Marshawn, yeah, like, nigga, like, whoever else yeah. pull up. Had me rapping in front of Julio Jones. I didn't even expect that. Julio, Shaq, you know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Like, certain, man, come on, man. Like, if this ain't no you are really thing, hey. bro. Niggas don't, shit, you ain't about to see Shaq, no diss to no Nobody. other small league. But you ain't about to see, Sh no. you ain't about to see Shaq pop up to no small league event like that. And this Shaq nigga popped up. Popping up. John John shit. He popped up at John John shit. So it's like, <clears throat> first of all, a nigga that nobody knows, and I got those opportunities in front of me. Hell yeah, I'm gonna take them shits. Niggas is not. The thing is, I think what ha I think what happened was niggas' approaches got fucked up. The niggas' pride jumped in the way. And after <coughs> his pride jumped in the way, it was like boom. Like, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Jack Boy. That's my little bro. Spoke to him on the phone about the whole situation. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely. I don't want nobody to think this was like a shout, uh, like a slight or sh shot at Jack Boy. Because I definitely support everybody from the DMV area. I have no I problem love with Jack Boy. Everybody. Jack Boy, my brother, man. I love a fucking Jack Boy. That's my nigga. That's my nigga, nigga. Like, that's my nigga, like Illinois. I think Jack Boy is dope too, dope. Yeah, dope. Jack Boy is dope, 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 very dope. Um, I think that with time, you know how that shit settle down. Niggas start thinking, you know what I'm saying, and they brain instead of using they using they pride. Like man, it's gonna, gonna be a point, and it's. And it's going to be a point of battle rap. I mean, even though it probably don't got the same feel that it had when Summer Madness 2 happened, it's battle rap still don't probably don't got that feel that it had. It's still spiraling upwards. Even right. if it don't got that feel that it once had, it's still spiraling upwards. People are still finding out ways to make money off this shit and still finding out ways to get views. Last year might have been URL's biggest year view wise right. since Summer Madness too. So this shit is still spiraling upwards. So if this shit is gonna turn into an industry like niggas is trying to make this shit, niggas is gonna pull out contracts. Like at oh. this point, battle rap leagues are becoming record labels. So yeah. they about to start pulling out contracts, bro. That's just how I go. Then that's gonna be. Contracts gonna be a normal. The shit's gonna be like boxing soon. Like that's the whole ultimate goal. But as far as like how niggas move, like like I said, battle rap is <clears throat> it's it's growing. So it's not gonna have the pure feel. But now it's more like wrestling. Like I watch wrestling still. So I you can liken battle rap to wrestling in more ways than one. One you gotta sell a fight. Them niggas sell a fight. They nobody sells a fight like a wrestling nigga. You <laughs> that that. Fight, nigga. Like, that's part of your <laughs> fucking job. Like you gotta cut promos, niggas interview you, you gotta talk shit to the nigga, cut the nigga. You know what I mean? You gotta do all types of wild shit just to make niggas interested for the day y'all two beef. It's certain shit, so I think niggas just gotta learn how to sell the fight and make it so niggas want to watch this shit again. Like, that's another thing. We if we wanted to go over to how battle rap changed, everybody's friends now. Yeah, everybody's that's the friends now. That's the homie. <laughs> Don't get it fucked up. I love y'all niggas, but it gotta get back to the point where you the bro, but I'll cook you, nigga. <laughs> Now, I mean, like, man, this is how I look at it, man. Like, before the fight and during the fight, you know what I'm saying? I don't like you. But after the fight, we shake hands and you're the bro again. Just like taking your mans in the backyard. Like, 
All right, we got we got shaken. Now we can shake hands and go smoke yeah. or do whatever. But like like June third, I'm gonna battle bangs. I, I fucking bangs is my brother. I love this nigga. That's my nigga. Like that's my mother. I got his fucking hoodie he left from Florida in my crib. Like bangs is my nigga like that. But when it's time to go, I'm going to absolutely try to take his head off, just as the same way he's going to try to take my head off, because that's how the game is supposed to be played. Like, all that, I would never battle such and such, because that's the bro, that's the homie. All that, nigga? Nah, man. No, nah, like, niggas can so, have a war with words, my nigga. Like, it's not yeah, like... Niggas yeah. fighting for real, like, don't get it fucked up. Certainly, obviously, if you're in the same clique, I don't like that. Like, I get why the writer's block niggas do it, because to me, they're not really, like, a clique group of rappers. They don't, you know what I'm saying? I mean, they might talk to each other on the phone and shit, but they're not really in each other's lives like that. And most of them niggas don't really, like, hang around each other type shit. Like, That's what like I'm they don't really be around each other like that. But they do have some type of rapport with each other, so... You know what I mean? But if you're in the same clique, obviously battling is kind of corny. But yeah, all you other niggas that just, yo, that's my man. Like, niggas just battling. Who gives a fuck? <coughs> man? And speaking of battles, what? I do want to talk about um fucking Trez and JC. <laughs> that shit was wild, huh. son. Yeah, that was a that was a dope ass battle. Um, yo, uh, Trez is nice, man. JC's beast nice. too, man. Like my only thing that I just didn't like fuck with in that battle. Maybe it's gonna sound like I'm nitpicking, and if it do, I don't even really give a fuck. I just hate it. Like after every fucking bar, this nigga JC got reaction, bro. And JC is that nice. That he is that nice. That he can get reaction every bar. He is that nice. But it was a lot of shit they was reacting to. I was like, all right, come on, bro. Like, let him finish the setup first. Like, oh, he was reacting. Overreact. Yeah, I didn't like that. But at the end of the day, I'm going to tell you right now what it is. JC never, he, people like he didn't change his flow. It's just, you know what it is. It's when you get, a lot of a lot of battle rap fans <coughs> do not admit that they are fans of battle of just URL. No oh, shit. URL. You know, like you fan of battle, you'll watch battle. You don't give a fuck who you, you'll watch. Whatever if niggas say that shit hot, you watching it. A lot of niggas just watch URL. There's nothing wrong with that. So JC doing what he norm. I've watched JC do what he did to Trez a million times. A million times. He did Craig Lamar worse than he did Trez to me. Yes, he did. <laughs> Way worse. Way worse. So to me, like, shout out my nigga JC. JC is a fucking insane writer. But to me, but that was. Like, a regular day at the office, fam. You feel me? That like, was regular JC. I mean, it's, it's not I saying like he JC didn't snap. Going it did snap. But I don't think he was, like, spectacular to where he had to stop every single line. And it wasn't like he was stopping, like, he would spit four bars and then stop. No, it was like he would spit one line at a time and stop. And this shit just... I, I think, hated that. Well, they, they, they stopping him, one. Two, yeah, they are him, so it's not his fault. I think it's the reaction, it's the return factor. Yeah, and when it's the return factor, plus you have potent shit, they go crazy. Look at Sway when Sway returned. Like that first round, then bug out. Said anything got crowd reaction because niggas was happy to see him back. The fact that he was snapping on top of that. Made it made, it made them niggas go nuts. Like, oh shit, this nigga's back, son. And I will say this, and this is not a slight to JC neither, because JC probably in my top ten. I mean, um, I have to think about a top ten. But if I thought about it, JC would probably be in it. 
JC kind of tapped into that to like Lux and hit me out because Lux tricked people into thinking that he and rap and Lux does rap good, but he tricked people into thinking that he raps just so good and he's just so ahead of his time and just so beyond everybody that everything this nigga say is double meaning or has some hidden wordplay or something. And I feel Lux and I feel like JC kind of got that now too where. Niggas just know that he raps so well that even if it's not a double meaning, it's something there that niggas didn't catch the, that they just got to react to. Because it was a lot of shit that I'm like, hey, yo, bro, it's not even a punch yet. And they was going crazy for it. And that was a setup bar. The punch didn't come to like three bars later. Oh, yeah. Now, nah, see, with JC, I get what you're saying. I, I can see it. I can see how it works for Lux. Lux, right, Lux definitely tricks niggas into being like, yo, it's Lux. Lux. <coughs> a lot of, sometimes he'll ramble and say shit. Hey, I think, like, they know he's nice, so they be so ready to react. Like, they're ready to react. Like, they were oh, They can't wait to react. Like they can't wait, so it's easy for him. For certain niggas, and he's nice line for line. He's one of those line for line niggas. So he might spit a crazy line, and niggas go crazy, and then two more lines, he got something because he doesn't do four bar setups. He does them, but he doesn't do them a lot. You know what I'm saying? And no, no. No knock to Trez, because Trez was fire. Trez did three rebuttals on demand. Like, and he was rebuttaling it in the middle of his round and getting and back to his round. Like, in the middle of his and round that may seem easy. Dog. And that may say, seem easy when you watching that shit, but you really got to, people really got to think how difficult that is to stop in the middle of your shit. shit is not. Rebuttal what the not man easy, said, man. And then get back to what you was already Rapping like that's not that's easy. That not requires easy. you talent. have to stop. What you you have to stop. I remember the last word. Then remember what the fuck he said. Think of what you're gonna say. Say that and then jump back on the last word. This is hard. That's so not the dawn. Gets the utmost respect for me because he does that. easy like this. He does it like this. So that requires a lot of talent. So I definitely don't want to. Nah, you know. Trez. Trez was fire. That's my nigga. Shout out Chef Trez. That's the homie. Um, but yeah, JC, she... perfect. Like next to that, JC. I know. Who did you have winning that shit though? Huh? So who did you have winning that shit though, my nigga? I had JC winning. Clearly, I could go two one. Um, I just think JC was more polished. He was just more. He had bar, his bars hit harder. Everybody was over, they didn't overreact cause it just, <coughs> to me. They went like certain bars he had landed more. You know what I'm saying? Agree. Even with the crowd ODN, I definitely think JC won that shit. <coughs> Pardon me. Definitely think JC won that shit. There were certain bars that had even like me. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, that shit was hard. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Did you, um, uh, just. Just since we on the topic, I ain't I ain't get a chance to watch it yet. Did you uh watch uh Wavy and Bill Collector yet? No, uh, I seen some of it. I don't even like it. Was it's not really a good battle. To keep it all the way hundred, but I watched. Some, I gotta watch that. I I gotta watch it. Now that we doing this yeah. podcast, I gotta watch everything now. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> now I gotta watch these shits. I was there for that shit live. Live, I want. I mean, it was just, it was after Jazz and E Heart though. And Jazz and E Heart just like set the building on fire. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's. I what, I know. How, I, yeah, that's tough. I wasn't really trying to pay too too much attention from that. But what I remember, I did remember uh, Bill Collector. Me thinking Bill Collector was entertaining. Oh yeah, Bill. Co- Shout out Bill Collector. That nigga is entertaining. Shout out Wavy. 
Yeah, definitely shout wavy, out Wavy. Wavy That's... do his one two. Every time, yeah. every time you see him, he do his one two. So I ain't, I ain't mad at Wavy. Shout out Wavy. Um, now I ain't see it. another battle that I that I get mad at people don't talk about that I was even late to the party to was E Pharrell and Dunnish. That battle was oh crazy. Yeah, since we gonna talk about it, since you brought it up. E. Farrell and Dunch is probably of the year. I don't give a fuck yeah. with nobody. Says. I ain't even gonna say it a year, man. I'm gonna say that's probably one of the best battles. Excluding Av and Rum Nitty, that's probably one of the best battles I've seen. And XL and Loso, because that was a crazy one, too. Outside of those two battles, that's probably one of the best battles I've seen in the last two or three years, man, honest. Nah, that's a fact. That that's a classic. That's a really good. That's battle. probably one. Of, yeah, that's probably one of the best battles I've seen in a long time. Because them niggas, Dunch, is a monster. That that boy goes. E Farrell was a monster too. E Farrell got sick, crazy punches. Yeah, it was sick. And it was five rounds, but it wasn't. It wasn't on Solomon. <laughs> Five rounds. It wasn't five rounds. Nah, it was sixteen balls, five oh, rounds. Fucking man. That's what me and Bangs is doing. Sixteen balls, five rounds. Oh, what? Yeah. Oh, gonna, oh that's shit. Gonna be, it's gonna be super crazy. Um, that's gonna be. But bad niggas, niggas, E. Farrow and Dunch, um, Kid Slave versus versus a dope one too. That shit is hard. Um, check that one out. Yeah, man. There's a couple. There's a lot of there's there's niggas that really give it up still, and we got this with this podcast for we gonna big niggas up. We gonna we gonna talk about the battles niggas ain't talking about. Speaking this battle Definitely. like, and then you got um, we was talking about JC, shout out JC Pontiac and all that. He called out Lux. <laughs> Word. I, I mean, that I get it. Lux, but Lux to me, like Lux to a lot of niggas. He's one of those mythical um, figures. Like, like he's like even he's like a <clears throat> like figure, man. I'm gonna say this, man. I don't think that any rapper. Is unbeatable. Like yeah. Lux can. We've seen Lux lose before. Yeah, we've seen I Lux personally lose. think. I personally think we've seen him lose to the same person twice. I thought beat him both times. That's just my personal opinion. Oh, I don't think. I think Lux won. The, see, I, I disagree with the fact with that. I think. Yeah, I think general consensus one. is Lux won the first one. I personally I, thought Mook won both. And then but Mook killed we we seen Lux. Lose before, so right. Lux is capable of losing, my nigga. Right. So, but if it is someone that Lux would lose to, I don't think it's JC. Like just being honest, and again, no, not the JC because he's one of my favorites. But JC is just like my thing. I don't see Lux man. losing to JC, bro. I don't. Well, that battle's never gonna happen. I can't even keep it realistic. Like, it's tough because from a writing standpoint, I don't know, like Lux, because Gray Hoodie Lux, Lux versus Miles is probably, in my opinion, the three best rounds at, like, from a technical skills standpoint. Yeah, some of the best rapping I've ever seen in my lifetime. I've ever battle rap ever, nigga. Three rounds together better than Lux did versus Miles. Nigga. Agreed. And I don't know if those mixtape balls, I don't know if he had them shits in the stash. I don't know nothing about them balls. I just know them shits was amazing. And they're still amazing right now. To this day, rounds was timeless. Really? Like, but Lux, we seen Lux lose. Mook beat Lux, and every don't and that's. A, I just want to put a sidebar. All you niggas that hate on Mook, 
Stop doing that, man. Move. Cut it. <laughs> Cut that shit out, man. <laughs> Like he don't he like Tom Brady. He knows how to win. B. It might not look crazy, but he's gonna win. And Brady. like niggas, niggas, and niggas take for granted. I mean, Mook, he's a different nigga now in life than he was when he was twenty something years old rapping against who he was rapping against, or when he was a teenager, or when he was twenty something. Right. Like this is a. 30 plus year old man now. He can't be rapping about the same shit that right, he was he's when he battled Party Uddy. You feel? All tight. He's smart. The nigga's not dumb. So you. Right. Like, but Mook, Young Mook was a punchline machine. Like, niggas, forget that. Mook used to yeah. be a punchline machine. Yeah. He's like, more so, like, tactical. He breaks you down. Like, put it like this Mook, what was his last three battles? It was Lux. Solomon and Jones, right? Mm, was it or was it Lux Solomon and Young Hot? If it's Lux Solomon and Young Hot, Mook ain't Mook is eleven and all. He has a he won eleven rounds in a row. <laughs> yes, Mook, like, has not, Mook has not lost a round in a very long. He hasn't time. lost a round in a long time. He hasn't lost a round in a minute, B. How can you hate on a nigga that every time he faces a nigga, he wipes like, the great? And let's not take away, he beat Iron Solomon 5 0, but let's stop acting like Iron Solomon's a fucking slouch. No, Iron Solomon is not a slouch at all. At the time, and at the time when Mook beat Iron Solomon, Iron Solomon was cleaning everybody's shit, nigga. Except for Matt. And when but, the time uh, that Battle Iron Solomon. A lot of people were saying Iron Solomon was gonna win. Yeah, fact. I, I was one of those people that thought Iron Solomon was gonna win. Mook, Mook, <laughs> Mook. Hey, ben, I, I was one of those people that thought Iron Solomon was gonna win. And right, me too, because Iron Solomon had more punches. He was more like battle rap style, and Mook came and did some whole different shit to this nigga, man. They shouldn't have did five rounds. If it was three rounds, I think it would have been a better battle. That performance would be a lot more appreciated. Yeah. Facts. He's five zipped someone in the niggas. Then he beat Lux. Pretty oh, yo, I want to ask you a question too. Now, since we on here, I saw um I saw a, a post in a group. I can't remember what group I saw it, in. but it said if you could show someone a battle. Like, if you was in an office and you was trying to get a big major company to invest in battle rap, what battle would you show them? Hmm. Off the top of my head, probably Lux versus Hollow. <coughs> I would say Lux and Calico or probably Verb and Rex. Just because. Oh, because of Diddy. Yeah. Lux still got a lot of ambiance to Verb and Rex, true. And Lux and Cal well Lux and Cal Lux and Calico, you I think you show anybody Lux and Calico, they're gonna give you the bread. It's easy to grasp. Like it's not like yeah. you gotta be in to, in the know to it's easy to grasp. Like you could tell what he was trying to do and Lux was wild and okay. I think I think Lux I would say Lux versus Hollow only because it has a little bit of everything. Like yeah, Lux that's... came with the serious raps. And Hollow kind of rounded it out like he made fun of him a little bit. He did a little bit of everything, you know what I'm saying? But, um, man, I don't know. Like, JC, my nigga, like, I think JC would have to bring, like, okay, I'll say this. Great Hoodie Lux has the best three rounds of battle rap put together versus mine. Them three rounds JC had versus Chilla is pretty up there, too, though. And those three rounds he had for Chilla was crazy. And my bro Chilla had some heat that battle too. That's Chilla had some fire that battle. Like that's definitely JC, one of the JC has some shit. So like if both of them niggas came like that, I think the fans win. Definitely. And I think Lux I think to keep it a hundred, I think Lux should battle a nigga that that 
is known for his pen work, man. Why not? I agree. Like, honestly, if he battled Mook, who I'm saying Mook's not Mook is a good Mook's like the all around master. He's one of them type of niggas. Um, then he battled um, he battled Hollow, a great rapper, but not necessarily a pen nigga. And he's not really a technical writer. He's not a technical writer. Calico. Not a technical writer at all. He's not Calico, but he's not a word play nigga like that. He don't do word play all. But honestly, if, if uh, Lux but it, if Lux was to battle again right now, out of these three names. Verb, JC, Goods, and who's up there right now that we could probably throw them at Arsenal because he's been talking shit too. Out of those four names, who would you want to see Lux battle? Us? Us is going to push him the hardest. Shit, man. It would definitely be between Ars and, Go- and Goods. Me. I want to see Lux and Goods, but that would be. The style clash would be weird, but I think Ars because Ars has always been little bro, and you could see some of Lux in Ars. Definitely. Pause. Pause. You could definitely see where Ars got his influence from. Like, see that. And sometimes, you could, when he flows, when he goes off, you could just see it sometimes. He'd be going in. I think in the way Arsenal presents himself on stage when he raps, with being all in your face and shit, I think he would make Lux go to another zone, back to the old Lux. Because he would have to. Be Can't even argue that. Man, it's definitely a couple more battles I do want. I mean, these numbers is getting outrageous now. And with the influx well, Arsenal, of new niggas. Arsenal be getting niggas the bag. I don't know how he does it, but he be getting <laughs> niggas the bag. Oh, it's definitely be getting niggas the bag. But with like the influx. Arsenal be getting, shout out to Ars. He be but I will say though. Got the niggas back. The, every time you are real door pay-per-view though, the next card after the pay-per-view always have Lux or Hollow or... A super big name oh, on that cup. Uh, you know what about Hollow? Happening not supposed to be right. I hope that. I mean, that's the rumble. It sounded like it might be a go. So that's the rumble. Rumble just did a pay per view, so who knows? They might be giving up to pay Hollow or Lux or somebody like that. That's the rumblings I hear, like Hollow and Rock. Yeah, yo, if you're watching this too, yo, leave comments under this. I want to who y'all got, yo, if Rock and who y'all got, Hollow Rock. I love both of them niggas. Them both is my niggas. For that's tough. That's, that's tough. because I don't think either one of them has battled. You know Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think K Rock has ever battled anybody as unpredictable as Hollow. I don't think Hollow's ever battled. And it's going to be, and I will say, it's not going to be the same for Rock. Because these last few battles that Rock been having, and they ain't no knock to, to, to bro neither. But these last, like, probably like last, Rock last five, he's been the more popular nigga. Except right. Arsenal, because he did battle Arsenal Jersey. So I take us off that. But Rock last couple, most of the time, Rock is the more popular nigga in his battles. So it's going to be interesting when seeing him battle a nigga that's just as popular and the crowd loves just as much. Rock ain't been the underdog in a while. Rock ain't been the underdog in a while. It's been a long time since we've seen Rock as the underdog, man. But I want to just y'all real quick. Um, I think we got mad. I think, and I just want to push each other. Gonna push each other. You know what I'm saying? I think that should be crazy because they, I don't think rocks battle anybody as tenacious as fucking 
uh, as unpredictable as Hollow. Definitely. And I don't think, I don't think, um, Rock, like, Hollow, I, he hasn't stood in front of nobody that's going to be out of his neck like Tay Rock be paused. Like, that. Like with that I haven't seen it. type of aggression in the yeah, it ain't, it's been a while, Hollow, since he's been, been a while. That. So that's what it is. But I think they'll make each other snap. And that's this could want. definitely, because in my personal opinion, I haven't seen like a big, big stage classic in a while. I think this got potential to be that yeah. one big stage battle that. And Lux Niggas. and Arson. Lux and Arson needs to happen. Fuck that. I'm Lux and that. Arson, Rock and Hollow. Those two. I need guys. to see Lux and Arson. Niggas, like that's that like Lux and Arsenal could be what K Shine and Rex were supposed to be, huh? Or well, definitely could be that. It could be. I'm gonna say it's Man, gonna be looking at I, I don't I'll say like that. It's gonna be because to keep it a hundred, play. I've never known Lux to slack at you all. I <laughs> never knew Lux to come and play. Lux don't Lux don't slack, man. So that'll be that's gonna be lit. Um, let me see what else we got. Oh, um, oh shit, YouTube. Um, if you don't know. By now, YouTube basically they used to put ads on their thing on videos that got a certain amount <coughs> of hits. That's how people got their bread monetized off YouTube. Now they give it not the uh, the choice as to what to put their ads on. So then they're taking all the ads off. Uh, people think it's gonna hurt battle rap as a whole. Uh. I don't really think so. You know what I'm saying? I think because niggas will come up with other avenues. Niggas, there's always, you could have, have your own website. Need you to, to, you know what I'm saying? Um, Put up the, get get it popping. But as you, there was a delay in battles for a minute, whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? Now I think what's going to have to happen is leagues is just going to have to really go get their own sponsors. That or they gonna have to fucking upload videos to try. I guess try to find another platform or something. But I don't know if they're gonna be able to make the money that they was making off YouTube. Cause I, th- I mean, I don't know if bro want this to be out there, so I won't say his name. But it's a league owner that I'm that I'm cool with that I talk to all the time, and he's not affiliated with URL or none of that. He's a small. He owns a small league. And this nigga said he was making close to upwards of twenty five hundred a month off of YouTube money. Mm-hmm. And for a nigga that run a small league, that's pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Especially you know he's not paying super, like super big names to come out neither. This is all off his talent. Right. This is homegrown talent. Right, right, right. I think so. Um, That's pretty good. Now, yeah, that hurt. So you can imagine what URL was making off of YouTube. So, if those ads, if those ads is, you know what I'm saying, stopping niggas from making that bread, it, it's probably, battles definitely not going to be dropping as frequent as they used to. Right. No, that, um, that shit, that hurts, you know what I'm saying, but at the end of the day, you can do it. I mean, there's Netflix. I think that would personally be fire. I think that would be dope. Or another way, or another thing, niggas could, I guess, probably try to, like, strike a deal with one of these, like, video platforms and shit that ain't really got the, like, the, you know the the traffic that YouTube got, and try to um, get. Smack that called Diddy. 
and put that shit on Revolt TV, my nigga. Put <laughs> that shit on Revolt. <laughs> you cursing all that on Revolt, right? Yeah. All right, then you good. Shit. All the bullshit yeah. on fucking Look. TV, man. They, they can, niggas can battle on there. Uh, put that shit on Revo or just, I would say go to Netflix. I think that would be fire. I think that if you, you do an event and then you take the event, you have a contract from these niggas for two events. You do the two events, you give them the footage, and they put the whole event out. So you're not waiting for a battle drop. You understand <clears throat> watch the fucking event. Yo, that would act that would be dope. You think battle you think battle rap is ready for that though? Um they I think they I think the format gotta change to make people appreciate it again. The format in which people consume it because they've been getting it for free so long that it's like <laughs> they take it for granted. I mean to have it on Netflix is dope. Because, one, if you already got Netflix or some type of streaming service, then you already paying for, you know what I'm saying? You're not paying no well, extra. Well, to, well, you know, um, Apple Music, Apple Music got uh the little videos and shit on there. Maybe they could get a deal with Apple Music and try to get some of the videos. But then that would limit the fans yeah. who can do it, though. They gotta, yeah, that would limit fans, but they got to try to strike a deal. I mean, they got to set, like, all right, I'm going to keep it a bean. Like, Battle Rap, they don't know what it is, but it's a non, if you sell it as a non-contact sport, <laughs> it, it, it comes across Bad different rap. business lingo, because that's, that's what it is. Battle rap is no different from Jay Z getting shot at the end of his '99 Problems video. Oh, battle rap is a no different from all the other vulgar content that we see no. on Apple Music, YouTube, battle and all that rap shit. Is non-contact sport, B. You my know. nigga. Regardless niggas of what people make, you go beat the fuck out of each other in the cage all day. Regardless of what people may think, I can count on one hand. I'm, I'm not gonna do that, by the way. But I can count on one hand the amount of fights that I like, actual fights that I've witnessed in battle rap. I don't know. Like at URL events, at any event. Shit, honestly, to be a honey, man, these bitches be with it more than the niggas do. A, a queen of the ring chick, a pop. Queen of the Ring chick will pop. These niggas will woof online and judge that all day. They see each other and be like, yo, it's just battle rap. Like, them, yeah, like the bitches fact. be with fact. it. I agree. Like, the bitches be with it. They'll pop. Niggas ain't fighting at no URL events, man. No, niggas ain't, niggas ain't getting it. Mm-mm. So it was one or two or three situations y'all seen happen with math. Nah, I'm not singling out math neither. But those one or two situations y'all seen with math or the situations y'all seen with Kayshawn, those rarely happen. And those in those situations with Kayshawn, they weren't any actual fights. They were almost fights. So like my nigga, this is gonna happen, man. Like my thing is right. this. You sell it as performance <laughs> art, you you go as performance art non contact sport, then it comes across different, okay. Then you get it. Like, first of all, nobody fights. Niggas, nobody. Like you said, the queen of the ring chicks will pop on each other faster than the niggas will. Niggas don't fight unless. Niggas don't fight unless. I ain't never seen two niggas fight. I see niggas wolf. I see niggas wolf. Necessarily. Like right. niggas will fight. Niggas will really like push till the till it's absolutely, absolutely necessary to fight. Where it's like no point, right? But you just gotta pop. But most of the issues that happen in battle rap 
can be resolved with a conversation. Because to be honest, you can't 99% really. Ninety nine percent of them. Ninety nine percent can be resolved with a conversation. Because like, you so can't tell it. I mean, because most of the time, niggas don't interact with each other face to face unless we at events because we all live in different cities. Right. So most of us don't really react face to face. We don't be we all living different. Each other like that. Unless so you can't really once. tell. You can't really tell a nigga tone over a text or over right. a Facebook comment. No, nah, you're right. You can't judge tone over a Facebook comment or an inbox or text. So most of the time, these issues can be resolved once a nigga just place a phone call. And if it do get to the point where yeah, niggas feel they... like they need to fight or do whatever, man, just walk around the corner, fight. Then y'all could go ahead and right. do what y'all gotta do. Gotta cut fighting at events fucking corny. Yeah. Fuck, cut all that stunt for the camera talking on Facebook. You niggas is dumb. First of all, stupid niggas, which is damn, which is the feds talking about what you're gonna do <laughs> when you go to this other public place. You're not a smart nigga, man. Now, if and anything don't... happens in that public place, you're going down first. And, and me personally, I'm finna get a government job. So, I ain't trying to fuck up my government benefits fighting none of you stupid niggas. So, I, right? Nobody wants to. And it's well, a I had a government. Pro, I had like a government me. job. Government jobs, them shit, them benefits is righteous. So, and most of the people in battle rap feel like me. Eighty percent of us work full time or go to school, or we all niggas got, got something. Jobs, niggas got kids. <laughs> Lives, niggas. We all got to something to live for. Them, but... Nobody really want to fight, yo. Because with grown ass adults, it don't just end at a fight in most cases. With adults, it don't just end at a fight in most cases. Other people get involved. Yeah. And it's, so shit it's just like, why even go there? So don't go there if you got to, my nigga. Go enjoy some raps. You know what I'm saying? Go drink. That's all bad rap is about. Go home. Enjoying raps, having, getting drunk, having fun. You know what I'm saying? Um, Speaking of battles, my my nigga, shout out the motherfucking wolf for taking home the fucking championship. Shout out the ice man, wolf. Ice, ice a real man. nigga too, man. I remember I, uh, ice, ice is a that real nigga. If niggas don't know ice, ice is that nigga, b. That's my motherfucking and nigga. My this nigga. is how I knew ice was a real nigga. When I first first got into battle rap. Damn, I can't remember what event this was. It might have been the event when Tech Nine and DNA battle. I'm not sure. That wasn't when I first got into battle rap, but that was when I got. I was old enough to attend events. <laughs> I think right. that was the first event I went to. Right. And this nigga, I I tweeted this nigga Ice before, and this nigga dead ass walked up to me and spoke about that tweet, and that shit was months ago, like months before that event. And this nigga walked up to me no, and brought that. I always fuck with ice. Crazy for that shit about ice. That's a ice is nigga a right ill nigga like that. Like ice is an ill nigga like that. Like I've seen him shock mad battle rappers and just walk up and quote they shit. Like he knows ice everybody. Is, when I tell like, you ice knows everybody's shit, he knows everybody. He knows my shit. He knows kid twist shit. He knows disaster shit. He knows everybody's shit, son. He studies the game. And shout out to Ice for winning the chip. I watched the battle. I don't see where the fucking Rome debate is about. I don't see it, man. People try to I, I don't know. Definitely man. don't see where the debate is. Um, I can't remember what round it was. It was one of the rounds that I thought was close, but two of those rounds Ice won decisively. I think I it was the it. first I think was close. The first Might have been the first. Close. Rome, Rome, I think Rome might even got the first, but the but second and third, Ice killed him. Clearly, 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 Beat, very clear. You know what I mean? so, Shout out to Ice, the two man, man, the first black king of the dot championship. First black man to win the king of the dot championship. So that's, that's a good cool. look. And I think he might, is he the first person from the East Coast to be king of the dot champion? Hmm. I don't know. 
Y'all comment at the bottom. I want to uh, let me know if he's the first one. I don't know that. I, think, I definitely but know. I know. He might be the first New York nigga. But is he the first? He like, definitely might be the first New York nigga to win the chip. I, that shit was kind of legendary. Now that we think about it, we can't. That is very legendary, man. First he's black man, of, first. Yeah, he's a lot of first with that one. A lot of first. You keep it a hundred. Ice is getting better. Way better. Like Ice already had the like, presence and the delivery, and now Ice is yeah. barring with you niggas now. Now he's scheming, punching. <laughs> he's barring with you niggas you, now. You niggas done fucked up, and look, somebody done. Fucked up and showed ice the way, like how the young, how we do it. Like, man, what's what's good? Not how we do it, but what's what's in now. Why you fucked up, man? Man, I'm definitely man. happy for ice, see, man. I don't see nobody taking the chain from him. I definitely don't see him losing the chain for a while. So, yeah, but man. while we on the topic, good king of the dot. So, who do you think next in line for the title shot, though? Uh, I would say Desaurus. Off the top of my head, I was probably Desaurus. Well, I'm gonna throw Desaurus. another name out there though. What about Stop you think Cor- What about Cortez? Ooh. I'm not necessarily a Desaurus fan. I mean, he is a legend. Nah, I'm not a Desaurus fan. Undeniably. I'm not like the super Desaurus guy. I'm, I'm just not necessarily saying. a Desaurus fan. He's he has mom- I he's had bars and moments where I watched him and he's had some shit that made me be like, Oh, the sources gets crazy. I've but, seen him be wrong. And he's definitely gave a lot school. to this game. Like right. we, that's shout out to Sources. He definitely shout gave out, Shout out Ill Mac. That's another ill nigga. The niggas don't be talking Ill Mac is love Ill Mac. one of my favorite battle rappers. Ill Mac is dope. Um King of the Dot, they got Masker 3 coming up. Um, I don't know who's on it. They, I think they're just in the beginning stages of putting it together. Um, shout out. This nigga guy. probably be on. I probably might. Be. <laughs> this might be on. Be on I it. might grace this day. I don't know. <laughs> shout out Nakai. Nakai wants to come on the podcast. We're probably going to have him on the next week joint. Um, Because we're going to be at y'all niggas every week doing this shit. This shit is kind of lit. I kind of like this shit. Yeah, yeah. Um, I fuck this shit too. Yeah. I ain't even really. A powered by Google, nigga. Anyway, like I, I have all Apple products in my house. Mm. So it took me a minute to. Learn. Once I get over Apple and shit, we gonna switch it up. But shout out King of the Dot. Shout out Ice. My nigga, the Wolf. You know what I'm saying? Now we gonna we gonna go off battle rap because you know we talk we talk a little bit about everything. It's not just about uh. Battle rap over here, like it's mostly battle rap because that's what we do. That's our culture. That's what we in. But we are not gonna like oversaturate the game and talk about battle rap for two hours. Right. <laughs> we ain't talking about some other like, shit. These motherfucking NBA playoffs is on. Oh my this god, dog. This nigga James. I'm Harden, definitely like, reading the want. comments when we get off for of this. Comment on this shit. How do y'all feel about what James performance, man? I'm definitely what happened to James Harden, y'all? This nigga. What happened to the nigga? What happened to James Harden, bro? And then what pissed me off about it is after that, after that shit, I I mean, and not saying he's not supposed to have a real life, but after the game, man, I peeped up that this motherfucker was in the club and shit partying. Like he just had one of the worst games of his career in a fucking meaningful ass game. Oh, yeah, facts. This nigga, Back. man. He was in the club after he scored 10 points. <laughs> 2 for 11. That, in the playoff game that got your team eliminated, you don't do that. And you had no Kawhi Leonard, so you should have scored. Four. No Tony Parker. No Tony Parker. You should have got crazy. Who was going <laughs> like? James Harden, like, for me, to me, he's a regular season nigga. Like he's dope in the regular season. He always in the playoffs. Something, something always don't click with him. It's been like, like hey, James Harden, man. You're a scorer, bro. 
So regardless of if you was just shooting shots and they wasn't falling, fuck it. It happens. It happens. If you was just shooting shots and they wasn't dropping. I get it, bro. You human. It happens. But my nigga, for you to be a superstar, an MVP candidate, a leader of the team, there's no way Trevor Ariza should have taken more shots than you, bro. Right. There's no way he should have nah, only taken 11 up. shots, Man. had no shot attempts in the first quarter, missed mad wide open threes, and have seven turnovers, bro. That's not superstar shit, my nigga. Yeah, the, in the elimination like, game. That's not nigga. superstar shit, bro. Elimination game, I would have put up 40 shots. Nigga. I, we're, not, we're not losing. Like, yeah, like, like I- you always been horrible on defense. I ain't get it. Like he's always no, not been good on defense. defense. Is trash. But he played he no defense. He played no defense. If you gonna play horrible like that, try to at least make it up on the defensive end, bro. It just look like you quit. Like he quit. Nah, he definitely. It's like this nigga just didn't want to play no more, yo. He always hey. folds some for some reason. James Harden, he got like a glitch or some shit. I don't know what's wrong with that dude. Um, John Wall, he killed. John, shout out to fucking John Wall. Even though he's playing my should have wore my Wizards hat today, man. Shout out to John Wall, man. That man got crazy, getting crazy. Isaiah's getting crazy though. That's a good. That's a good series. Yeah, see, yo, that game, yo, that game on Monday, man. That's gonna be that's gonna be one to see, dog. Nah, if you, I'm definitely gonna watch that shit like. Those are two great point guards, man. This is I like the crazy. biggest game of both of them niggas' career. Yeah. This is going to be something to see. Ten point activity from neither one of them niggas. <laughs> from John Wall or Bradley Bill. Mm-hmm. Bradley Bill's about to or go. Isaiah. Isaiah's about to score 70. Like that little nigga oh, be going definitely. crazy. I don't expect that less little- than. 30 from Isaiah. If he do get less than 30, it's because everybody else is scoring. And he's going to have 30 nah, and 10 nigga, assists. He's going to get 20 of them in the fourth quarter because that's how what he does. <laughs> he's going to get 20 of them in the fourth quarter. That's a fact. Is that... And this nigga's 5'9", bro. Nigga, I don't know. He turns up. I mean, at the end of the day, the Cavs were fucking LeBron and shit. This nigga LeBron, man. Like, so I'm definitely looking forward to that shit on Sunday. And this five foot nine, and this five foot nine ass nigga, Isaiah Thomas, played angry than a motherfucker. Nigga was running up the court with a tooth missing, looking like DNA. Wilding out there, bro. He needs this that. Man. You know what I'm saying, so guys, motherfucker. Whoever, two whoever plays up. after that, we gotta play the Cavs, and that's gonna be crazy. Whoever plays it with LeBron and Kyrie, LeBron's a fucking monster, man. <clears throat> I wouldn't mind seeing Wall versus Kyrie. In the conference finals, but also what am I saying? Isaiah versus Kyrie. The point guard Marvel, matchups in the Eastern Conference. Marvel versus Kyrie little... would be a more fire yeah. matchup, but who's going to stop LeBron or nobody? That is a fact. This nigga, like, I'm, let's get it. I'm a Kobe. I'm a Kobe Bryant nigga. Michael, so, and a Michael Jordan nigga. So, LeBron, I'm not, like, I'm not the biggest LeBron fan, but. Facts are facts. Me, this nigga play. is amazing, bro. Facts are facts. We gotta. This man is great, though. Like from an f, just from like a being a pure athlete. Yeah, like there's not too many niggas that do LeBron does. At that's with that size and speed, bro. That shit is just. I've never seen that before. Like no, nah, I never. LeBron <laughs> does things I've never seen. He stat. He stuffs the stats. He gets. Lots of stats across the fucking board. Um, he leads the team. Like, what else you want the nigga to do? Like, the niggas comparing him to Jordan. Like, that's unfair. He'll never be Jordan. He doesn't even play like Jordan. They play two different positions. Like, just let LeBron like be LeBron. Magic. Jordan, Jordan. Let Kobe be like Kobe. Magic. He plays like Magic Johnson. 
I won't argue he's, that. He's a more Magic aggressive. Can play position and he's LeBron. a more aggressive yeah. Magic Johnson, and he plays better defense. <coughs> but he plays like Magic Johnson, like with the being big and passing and dribbling and doing. And, you know what I'm saying, but like. That nigga's a monster, son. If he win the chip this year, this nigga's the goat. You understand me? Yeah. If 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 Bron repeat, yo, and I'm not even the the biggest LeBron fan. If LeBron repeat, yo, it's no debating that man's legacy. If he repeat this year, after Golden State going to pick up Kevin Durant, and LeBron repeat this year. No question in that man's legacy. No debating right, that nigga. that. All of that, LeBron went and got superstars to win shit. We got to throw that out the window if that man repeat this shit. Because they went and got one of the top three players in the league to go with Stephen Curry. And they already had three all-stars already. No, man. They already is, had Stephen Curry. That's Draymond like some Glenn. Tom Brady they, shit. Like, after that Super Bowl game, nobody hates on Tom Brady. Anymore. Yeah, you can't, you can't debate Brady. And I'm a Jets fan, so I'm supposed to hate the Patriots. But... This motherfucker Brady, man. I watched this nigga do some. Now, if he breaks the Madden curse and he doesn't get hurt all season, he's actually super goat. He's the goat. <laughs> he's already the goat, man. He's already he's the, the goat. goat. Like, LeBron, if he repeats, just stop talking about that nigga. Leave him alone. Yeah, uh, if, if LeBron repeat, I'm leaving. Uh, you, uh, you got it, bro. I'm going to leave you alone, my nigga. You got it, bro. Leave nigga alone. Um, who else? I think, um, I don't know, man. Golden State's probably going to go back to the finals. Yeah, I, I, it'll it'll be a rematch for, <laughs> it'll be Golden State and Cleveland again. They was already pretty much set for it to beat them niggas any fucking way. Yeah, I probably. Know, the league got to, we got to fix that, man. That bullshit, man. Yeah, it's really like three powerhouses in the NBA. Like we, we got we, we powerhouse uh, niggas in the NBA. Um, bring some excitement. Game. What else been on? Everybody talk about the Joe Budden little yachty shit. You seen that? Yo, I saw that shit, yo. And I'm gonna say this, yo. <laughs> I like. Me, he I think I just got your man. He balked on your man. And oh, I bro. got the personality where I like the people. I'm I'm one of those niggas that love the underdog. So I like the people. I'm I was like even in high school, I was that nigga that everybody knew and was the cool nigga. But I would be the cool nigga that would go s- see the nigga sitting by himself and then go be cool with Joe just because ain't nobody fuck with him. Right. Right. Always had that personality. Right. So, like, I be wanting to like this nigga because everybody hate the niggas. I be wanting to like this nigga. And then I hear this nigga say shit like, I don't know if I'm in a 360 deal. And it make me dislike the nigga. No. I be wanting to like the nigga. I'm going to keep it 100. I like Joe Button on that show. Whatever the fuck that show is. I think yeah. that his opinions needed. But him and Yachty was crazy. Yachty... Needs to know if he's in a 360 deal, man. Yes, yeah, so you have to know your, your business. Why? I mean, he's 19, and he, you know what I'm saying? But right. still, you got to you bring comes back to contracts. You got to know what you're signing, bro. You gotta know Get a lawyer, my nigga. Doing. I don't know, son. These mumble rap niggas is crazy, though. Yeah, I'd be wanting to. Like, like, I be wanting to like these niggas. And then niggas just say some dumb shit. I be like, all right, bro. I, I don't even can't. be wanting to like these niggas. Because really, at the end of the day, I feel like this. If we're going we gonna to talk about the subject of mumble rap, like, first of all, it's not rap. These niggas are not rapping. So we gotta call That's them. why I, I, like, I can personally say that I can enjoy it because I don't listen to them and expect to hear I will say I do enjoy Young Shit Thug that. now that he doesn't use auto-tune I like but I, I I go into it and expect to hear melodies and like I like this shit because me personally I don't want to go in the club and hear yeah, I was, Scarface I was about to say that 
Like, I when I go to a party, I don't want to hear Scarface. I want to hear Future. Nah, I want to hear Lil that. Uzi. I want to hear some shit that's gonna have nah, the bitches I was, dancing. I, I was definitely about to say that. When you go to the party, when you go when you party and you don't want to hear lyrical miracle, like that's not the way. But um, but when you um. But for me, like, I don't judge the niggas as rappers. So when people be like, yo, they're rappers, I know they're not. not nah, they're rappers. not. They're not rappers. Like, they're not rappers. They, I mean, it's real. It, I mean, it would be more close to singing than rapping because, I mean, it's real melodic. They're doing, they're doing a lot of it, it, it's, it's heavily, I would say it's heavily built on, like, the melodies. So, like, if they're doing a lot of they not. Just rapping. There's a lot of the, melodies. The beats to... are hard. The beats are dope. Um, like I said, I do like. Like we're fans of Met, like we're, we don't like Future. We like Metro Boomin. Like yeah. we don't like Future. We like Metro Boomin. I mean, I don't really. I haven't listened to. I don't really listen to none of that shit. I do like um. Young Thug now that he don't use auto tune, is that right? I enjoy Young Thug music. I don't like I'm all the zesty jack, shit. I'm jack he, all he, the all zesty all shit. That, like he, that shit he can keep to himself. <laughs> but, but you feel me? His that, beats, that that movie, shit, his little melodies. That. Yeah, I, like, now, I will say, though, bro, no funny shit. That Jeffrey album cover was the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life. The one with the nigga hat on the dress. Just like I don't know what the fuck kind of dress that was. That was some funny shit. My nigga, that that fucking album cover got me on, got me through a whole fucking flight from Baltimore to Houston, crying, my nigga. Just like the album covers, man. (laughs) Just silly. Um, but yeah, like I like that album, by the way. But that album cover got chill with that, bro. Yeah, no. Nah, nah, <laughs> don't do that shit again. We never do that. We never do that. Um, don't ever do that shit again. We never. Do Cause that. I ain't even want to listen to it. Right. Um. <laughs> I, I think to it. this. But for people that say there's no variety in hip hop, there's a variety. You just gotta look yeah. for it. It's a lot of balance in the game if you listen, if you look for it. And we're not in the age of the radio mm. record or necessarily so if you want to go look for variety all you gotta do is get your ass on apple music like <laughs> and you'll see you'll see black you, posted all over apple apple, apple music spotify all over apple all over apple music like apple music it's spotify, variety whatever streaming service you like get on there and just search it and fuck around and you'll find some shit, man. Like, you want some gangster shit? You can listen to West Side Gun and Conway. They got some gangster gritty shit. Yes, they You want some? Yeah, some dope. Shit. You want some hip hop rap shit? You know what I mean? Always niggas doing that. That shit will never die. Niggas bombing up. Niggas dropping great. Rick Ross just dropped a great album. Yeah, Rick Ross album was really good, and I'm not even necessarily a Rick Ross fan. And I I'm not a Rick that. Ross fan like that myself, but that album is a winner. Like, <laughs> I actually hate Rick Ross, but I enjoyed yeah, that. I'm album. not. I'm not. I'm. I don't like Rick Ross, but that album right there, that one, he got. It was he good. Got was one with that one. Good. He put it together. Uh, how did you feel about Kendrick album? Mm, I listened to it a couple of times. I like it, but it's it's dope. I'm not gonna say it's bad. There's some songs I don't like. <laughs> All right, has so more skippable joints for me than any other. Out of I don't. all right, so out of Good Kid, Mad City to Pimp a Butterfly, Damn, and Section Eighty, rank those four albums one through four. Section Eighty is number one. Agree. Um, damn. I will go to Pimble Butterfly after Section 80. Over Good Kid, Mad City? It's tough. 
I would go Good Kid, Mad City because Good Kid, Mad City is a story album. The whole story, the whole album is a story. So that's makes it fire. Good Kid, Mad City after Section 80. Then to Pimple Butterfly, then Damn. But to Pimple Butterfly is close, though, because the Pimple Butterfly is fucking insane. Hey, I, 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 love, I love that album, to Pimple Butterfly, a lot. Um, for me, I actually would say Good Kid, Mad City first, then Section 80. No, no, you know what? That's, that's actually kind of tough, yo. Section 80 was dope. Like Section that was Kendrick. That was Kendrick in his prime. Like he was just he was spitting. Like right, right. But niggas that say like yo Kendrick, not really rapping impressive anymore. Like on Section Eighty, he was barring on like ninety percent of those songs. Got crazy. Like that has no skippables for me. People, people got to understand. To whole album. People got to understand <laughs> when artists get to that level. It's not about barring anymore. It's about making a song dope. So if saying a melody and saying instead of saying a fire bar makes the song hot, then that's what they can do. It's not always about getting up there spitting a million fucking bars because that shit don't work all the time. Not especially not making music. Like, look at cannabis. The cannabis is a nigga that spit a million fucking bars, but he never really sold to the general public like that because yeah, niggas he never really had jacked break out. Like, like, and then take, take a nigga like Hove who actually can rap really, really well, and he even said, "Yo, I dumbed it down." You like, have to dumb it down with- because at the end of the day, like. What? Only rappers and hip hop heads and bar heads appreciate niggas who rap at a high skill level. Like, right? right? Or we just, you know what I mean, we so well versed in bars and shit that when a nigga on. So, niggas that have high skill sets like a Lupe or a King Los, like King Los is a fucking amazing rapper, but he doesn't, he raps so good. He's so technically nice that a lot of people are not going to appreciate how good he is because they don't know how to listen to it. And, and like, a nigga like Los, yo, rapping just, that should just come effortless to this nigga. Like, this nigga just, it just comes that way. Like, this nigga's really nice, bro. And then you got to look at niggas like, like Pharrell Monch. Pharrell Monch is insanely nice. But his skill set is so high that only a certain <coughs> amount of people appreciate him because we can understand what he's doing. Like, um, certain only like not I'm gonna not gonna say only the greats, but the rappers rap the niggas that really go in with the pen that come across great know how to dumb it down. Jay Z dumbed his shit down. That's the difference between him and Nas. Jay Z could dumb his shit down. Nas couldn't because Nas. You know what I'm saying? Eminem. To a degree, Eminem. Not now, because I don't know what Eminem is doing now with the rambling multi shit. M. At least on his radio singles and shit, he dumbed it his shit down. Like, if you look on his albums, every song that was the first release was always the corniest song or the most dumbed down record. So. Oh, yeah. And, I, and anybody that's watching this, I want you to tell me how many bad albums, because I'm going to read the comments at this shit. Tell me how many bad albums do you think Eminem got? Because I was debating that with my homie the other day. Oh, this nigga oh. M was the GOAT. And I said, no, I think Hove is the GOAT. And we was debating bad albums. To me personally, I don't feel Jay-Z has like an album that's just flat out bad, like you can't listen to. Right. Like, even if, like, niggas would say Kingdom Come was a bad album, no, it was no, Jay-Z bad. It wasn't... It wasn't even bad. It's, it wasn't bad, bad. Kingdom it Come... It was just not... I'm gonna tell you, Kingdom Come niggas couldn't relate to because that was Hove talking that grown man rich shit. And if you... It was... Get... It was just wasn't at the level... It wasn't comparable to old Jay-Z albums. 
But to me, Jay-Z don't have a bad album. Mm. I can name at least two, maybe three Eminem albums that I didn't enjoy. No, I yeah, I could name two off the top of my head. The Encore shit was bad. Relapse was bad. Horrible. Um, <laughs> Horrible. Recovery was right, fire, cool. though. Recovery was fire. Um so all right, two. So two. So to me, you I don't feel you can be the GOAT if you have a catalog that just got albums on it that was just complete garbage. No. I don't I feel so. I think Eminem is one of the I think he's one of the GOATs, but I don't think he's I think Eminem the GOAT. is I think real <laughs> shit, if you if you're going not going off your emotions and you're just going off numbers, if not numbers, but if you're just going off impact and and if you're going off just plain old skill, if you don't have Eminem... Oh, skill? It's no debating. If, if you but I'm saying like... Skill and music. Eminem is not at least in your top five, you're a hater. I'm just saying off of just... All around? Off of body of work. All around, music. Music. All around body of work as far as a career, Jay-Z's the best. Nobody beats him. Right. To me, Hove is the GOAT. Hove is the GOAT. No debate. The greatest. He has the best career out of everyone. He's the most consistent. He's last the longest. He keeps getting improving. Like you know? shit, just cause we on a topic and you brought up numbers. So numbers wise, does he even though he's disqualified for me, numbers numbers would say Drake is one of the GOATs. Nah. Numbers would say that though. No way. Drake is to me a pop artist. He's disqualified from any goal. Drake is a pop artist to me. Yes, he is a pop artist. One, because one, you can never be the GOAT at rapping when you don't write your own raps. Agree. And Drake doesn't technically have a rap album. Honestly. Yeah, and that he don't really got a from, rap album. That takes away from you being the goat. When once you have niggas writing for you, you're not the goat. You, um, this nigga is a rapper with R and B albums. Like, um, take care it was really like a R and B album. I think, which was a great album, by the way. But that was an R and B album. He's a pop artist, and he dibbles and dabbles in other people's music, so he's not really a rapper. He's a pop and he's not really rapping. <laughs> So yeah, I kind of um, disqualified Drake. I just wanted to bring him up since we was on the top. No, I mean, you could tie him to hip hop because that's where he comes from, but he's not doing hip hop. He's bringing other shit to hip hop, and and that's cool. But he's not rap. He's not. Uh, and I don't discredit his pen, but he's not one of the greats. When he and does. I mean, we and honestly, we know we we all know. Drake can write like we know he can write because we he's written hits for other people so we know the motherfucker can write but the thing about it is when you're a rapper you have to write your own lyrics like yeah no nah, you can't be even in the gold yeah. conversation you, write your own you just gotta write your own lyrics and we know you can write bro because we see the hits that you wrote for other motherfuckers so we know you can write bro but you just qualified yourself in my opinion my nigga like yeah can't be the goat, bruh. Or anywhere near it. Nah. Nah. Oh, yeah, we Maybe. hold on. We got a motherfucking... Hey, yo, right now we gonna... So, we gonna talk to the people. If y'all wanna... If y'all like what's going on so far, y'all can subscribe. Hit the button and subscribe. You want a live comment, hit us up. We here. Join the group. You know what I'm saying? Join the battlerap.link group. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be in there. Me and Walt, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Definitely, shout definitely. Out, um, shout out Bricks, Boston, running the boards, running everything, patching us in and out, letting us to get... Yeah, crazy. shout out to uh, Bricks, definitely. Um, I don't know how often we're going to be on. I don't know if bro came up with a schedule yet, necessarily. So I don't know how often we're going to do this. But... Um, I'll try to do it like... 
I don't know if it's gonna be a Saturday though. Um, but we're gonna try to do it at least once a week, my nigga, cause it's happening in the hell, niggas. You know what I mean? We gotta just be aware and be on top of this shit and talk about what's going on. But anybody that's uh watching this, um, hit you can uh hit me or you can hit bro on Facebook. My name is Walt Penderhues on Facebook. Right. You can hit me up on Facebook, inbox anything that you want niggas to touch on in this shit. I, right. Oh, and inbox the question too. I make sure I sh- mention you and yeah, question all that. Some we're gonna try mention. to have some guests on here, yes. live video guests. Um, we definitely gonna try to get some guests on here, have niggas come chop it up. <laughs> so we're, gonna, we're just gonna get better. This is definitely the pre-launch. This is just the pre-show. So we here just chopping it up. Uh, next week we gonna we gonna get together and figure out a day to do episode one that works for everybody, and then we should know about this. We should know pretty soon. But yeah, man, this was the first one. You already know. Shout out my nigga Wall. Appreciate all the viewers. Shout out all the viewers, whoever watched, whoever's there, comment under it. Tell us what you like, what you didn't like, all that great shit. We're gonna be back for some more. Um, yeah. Yeah.